want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. True happiness, isn't it, men? You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another Skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no Skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Every warrior in this clan deserves a song or saga, Lord. Why Eivor? Because his name alone dries the tongues of my enemies. If such a hero fought beside me, I'd fear nothing. What's your name, Lord? I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercy and soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again? If I knew my father was ill and beyond saving, I would ready myself to take his place. Will you take up his burden, should he fall? Oh, banish the thought that such a great man should perish. But if he were to pass... Yes. Yes, I believe I could. I must. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son, robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah! You are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. 
I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that, I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear maybe escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. my eyes. Who is this stranger? Eivor, come, sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvold. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Humboldt, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I'll walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face in Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You can't. 
uncanny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the Burrish Nag of Lincolnshire. God damn you! Leave him be! His brother's bloody day! Oh, I have been struck down! Proved within an inch of my life! But I will survive! Continue as you would, Avon! And if I should like you, avenge me! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. <laughs> 